that's the realism of magic. That's the realism of witchcraft. We, we do what we do to break free of those worldly things that hold us there. And that's why they seem so otherworldly. That's why, like what Peg was saying, we have that trope of the witch being either young and beautiful and coming into sexuality because that's scary. It's taboo to talk about. Or the old hag that's like just mean, but she's not mean. She's been through crap. You know, like she's going through stuff and she's trying to help people. And I feel like that's what magic really is. One of my favorite moments in learning was actually Bernadette's husband, Tommy, my high priest. We were sitting in my grove and my students were around and someone was like, well, yeah, well, why are witches green and have warts on their faces and why are they gross? And Tommy was just like, they probably were. And we were all like, Ugh. you know, like what a like catastrophic thing to say. And he was like, no, really think about it. They were the healers of the community. They tested all of their herbs and all their healings on themselves before they dared to give it to someone else. They want to help because they've been through something. And I feel like as empathic people in witchcraft and magic, whatever, in any spirituality, because there's magic in every spirituality and every tradition, we're the people that yes. want to want to help. And like, that's, I mean, who are we to say what religion is wrong? We're just here to say, does it help you? Does it give you hope? Does it give you moral guidelines? Then that's awesome. And in <laughs> like what you're saying, Valerie, the story of our personal lives, that's why a lot of us come out of the broom closet you know, to get out of the dark shadows of what we're oppressed with personally. And the witch has become that, that archetype of the woman that overcomes and could bust through it because we're powerful. And that's why there's that whole like, oh, well, she can't be with a man because then that's like re-putting on the oppression when there's a duality in everything. But what is it represented and what are we trying to represent in thorn trees? And that's part of, I think, the beauty of like representing it realistically as well, because that shows what you know we're really doing in life and what we're really trying to do and trying to pass on and to give and isn't that like really the lineage in a lot of ways like we've overcome this we've unlocked secrets of the universe or the earth and like let's work with it 